Welcome back! We just got the big key in that room I just came out of that is up on this upper ledge, uh, and we will need it in order to finish the dungeon. So if you have not snagged that yet, uh, and you aren't sure how, you should check out the end of the last video where you can see how I got up on this upper ledge. But um, before hopping down, you want to run over to the south portion of the upper ledge and then grab the small chest which contains a red rupee, which is worth 20. So this next puzzle, we're going to need four little statuettes things, and uh, there are two random ones that are here in this room. I'm just going to point them out real quick. One of them is on top of the ledge to the east, in my case, I'm playing the Wii version. You can use your claw shot to get over there and grab it. The other is on top of one of the little pillars near the gomas and goma larva. Uh, both are just optional, I'm just pointing them out just for giggles. You want to use the dominion rod to snag the big statue at long last that is hanging out beside the bell. And you want to move it onto the balance scale, and unfortunately this thing is incredibly heavy. You want to start out by tossing the little statue onto the other side of the scale, and we can't really climb up onto this other side from here, which is lame. So instead we're going to have to jump down and circle our way around. So that's really dumb, but that's kind of what we have to do. I'm going to hop down and get past these spiders, and so here I tried to use the spider um, to go past them. I just thought oh, I'd kill them and I'd go up the stairs, but it kind of bounced off and I went the opposite direction. <laughs> so that's lame. Anyway, you just want to continue going on up the stairs, and uh, you want to either use the Dominion Rod or the Ball and Chain to pull down these little statues that are on these on this little upper ledge. It's kind of cool, you can actually use the Ball and Chain to smash them and <laughs> bring them down. I actually did that the first time I went through this room when I first played this game. I grabbed all these statues and pulled them down and kept playing with them on the balance scale. <laughs> Anyways, four statues will equal the weight of the large statue, so you want to go ahead and just get close enough to, you know, bring it towards you. So you, once you finally get the Dominion Rod to take control of it, you want to go ahead and walk it forward onto this side of the scale. Now this will, of course, make an incredible amount of weight on this side. Go pick up all these little statues and toss them over the other side. So this is quite the lengthy little process. Uh, it's pretty lame, but it's just what you have to do. Once you have them all balanced out, you want to go ahead and climb onto the next ledge and use the Dominion Rod to take control of the statue once again. You want to bring it off the balance scale, and real quick, here's a little tip for controlling these guys. You want to use the walls to your advantage to make them by making them walk into it. This is great for repositioning yourself rather than deactivating the Dominion Rod and getting in a better position and then just to grab it again. Uh, it makes this a lot easier, so this way you can just smoothly you know, and effortlessly control the statue and move it around to get yourself in a good position. Head on down the stairs and start smashing the spiders to bits with a hammer. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? This whole situation kind of just makes me think that uh, this dungeon didn't initially have Goma and Goma Larva at all. As in the development team, you know, they already designed all these rooms, but as they were coming back with the statue, they said to themselves, what's well, something that would feel really good to smash to bits? And all the ladies on the development team said, SPIDERS! <laughs> I just, just can imagine the situation, and thus, now there's spiders in the Temple of Time. <laughs> Anyways, when you're all done messing around, you want to go ahead and make the statue walk into the bell thing, and then walk on out the door. Once you make it back to this room, I suggest you shoot the crystal switch to make it red. This will make this next thing a little bit less awkward. You want to use the dominion rod to take control of the statue, and if you shot the switch as I suggested, then now the wall will be on the same side as the statue, making it much easier to smash, as opposed to like controlling the statue and making it go all the way around this next little area just to smash the wall that's right next to you. Um, so that would just be awkward. Now next I suggest you kill the other wall as well, and here I was kind of in denial. I didn't really want to reposition myself and <laughs> get behind the statue, so instead I just kind of kept wandering back and forth trying to smash the wall. I still got it though, because I'm so cool. Now once you finally have killed that, there's a chest that is within this room that you can see on your minimap that we can go snag. You want to go ahead and place the statue on top of the floor switch that is on the other side of the electrical barrier, so temporarily deactivated. So you want to go ahead and uh, go on through, and alternatively you can also use the little statues that are on the other side as well. So keep this in mind in case you return to this dungeon later on to snag this. Uh, you don't need the giant statue in order to get this. You can use the little statues instead. Open the large chest that you have now unveiled to get a piece of heart. If you've been following the walkthrough thus far, this should be your 35th piece of heart, granting you an entire another heart container. Now, there are two pieces of heart that are found within this dungeon, and this is the first one. We will be snagging the other one relatively soon. With that taken care of, you want to go ahead and grab your statue and continue working your way down the stairs. In this room, there's a... Uh, yeah, not much to say. You just simply want to break through the walls, and uh, it's just a piece of cake. So you just walk the statue into the bell, and then continue on into the next room.
Back in this room, there's actually another secret that we can grab real quick. You want to enter the center area, and now we can grab either the statue at the top or the little statue that is down at the bottom of the room. Either way you go, it doesn't really matter. And if you go the top route, as I am doing in this example, you can grab the large statue, and you can use the Dominion Rod to pull it on over to your platform. So I'm going to go ahead and just place it on the edge and stop using the Dominion Rod so I can leave it there. So as I said, you know, you can go either up here and grab this statue, or you can go to the bottom and grab that statue. You just need one of them, so either one you choose. I just think this route is a little more fun to grab this bigger statue because you can smash things. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and return to the mid-level and you can use the statue to smash the blade traps. So this makes it a little bit easier and it's a little more fun. <laughs> I just love smashing things. With that, you want to go ahead and use the wall to your advantage, press it up against it, and then you'll be able to walk along with the statue, and bring it all the way over to the opposite side, where there are those two floor switches that we used earlier. We we'll go ahead and place the statue on top of one of them, then you can return to the middle of this area, and there is another one of those little statues that's right here. Now that you have the Dominion Rod, you can use that as well to make this walk around if you like. It doesn't really matter. Just be really careful not to, you know, like, walk it off the ledge. So here, for example, I picked it up at the very end. Once you get it to the end, you want to place it on the other switch, and then use the platform to get up to the next ledge and go on through the door. This will take you back to a familiar room that we've actually been in before, but this time around there are a bunch of Goma and Goma Larva. You want to steadily kill them off using attacks such as the spinner, bomb arrows, your sword, or your wolf form. Now, unlike the last time we were here, this isn't really necessary to kill them in order to open the door that we just came in from, so technically you can just ignore them if you like, but I'm going to kill them just to the Once you have killed them all, assuming you didn't just simply avoid them instead, you want to go to the south end of the room and taking one of these little statues with you. Now you'll see that on the platform that is off to my left there is a statue up there, but the one to the right does not have a statue on it, so you want to go ahead and toss this one up there. Um, and it might take a little bit for you to position yourself just correctly so that uh, you, know, you can actually get it up there. Once you have tossed it up there, you want to go ahead and use the Dominion Rod on either one while standing on the middle platform. Now you can walk it off the ledge and onto the switch that's at the bottom. So you walk down the ramp, go off the ledge, and then move around until you get it on top of the switch. Once you have that pressed down, it's kind of a cool little puzzle, you want to return to the top and do the same with the other statue. So in this case I actually toss this one a little bit far forward, um, it doesn't matter. Either way, you want to go ahead and walk this one down the same way you did the other one, and then press it on top of the switch. Once they are both pressed down, this will make a large chest appear in the other alcove, opposite to the one where we got the small key earlier on. I'm going to run on over and open it to find the second piece of heart found within this dungeon. If you've been following the walkthrough thus far, this should be your 36th piece of heart in total. That's all we had to do here, so return to the previous room, where I will meet up with you guys in the next video. So I will see you guys there.